Now bring us some figgy pudding. Have you ever had figgy pudding? No, it sounds gross. Though. Doesn't it? It sounds disgusting. Have you ever had figgy pudding? No. Why is it in the goddamn song? <laughs> it used to be a thing. People, I guess, liked figgy pudding. I like figs, but I wouldn't know if I'd like figgy pudding. That sounds like it'll give you diarrhea. Sounds gross. Now give me some diarrhea. Now give me some now diarrhea. Give some figgy pudding. <laughs> Back to our stupid reaction feed, it's Corbin. He's on drugs. And you've all had Instagram and Twitter. It's uh, so juicy. Uh, pump that content, pump it out, let it follow, give it a shout. And thank you for so much on Patreon, follow us on Twitter. <sighs> What's happening, man? Uh, we were Who's that guy? That is, um, you know. Uh, but this is a video called Why Indians Are Taking Over Hollywood. I thought that was oh. a very interesting title for a video. I hope this is coming from an Indian. I don't know. Uh, I, I would assume. That's a very interesting title. Because. I mean, I guess there are a bunch more than there used to be. Uh, I can, that's for sure. Maybe Kaling is the first one that would come to mind. Well, yep. Um, and then uh, Aziz Ansari, that's who yep. that is. Yep. Uh, from Parks and Rec. And obviously Priyanka. Uh, yeah. And I feel like if you're doing this about Hollywood, I feel like Priyanka would have to be the one that would have to... Quantico was probably first. And yep. then now she's helped bridge the gap. Uh, Veer Das has said so. Yep. Like... Uh, like first, he said the first time he ever went into an audition, he said, uh, they were like, you're Indian, like Priyanka Chopra. Mm -hmm. And so it's like, it's obviously she helped a lot. So I, I'd be very interested to see what this has to say. Uh, Cause we'd love to see more of our favorite actors in India. 100%. In Hollywood. Yeah. Selfishly. I know some of you don't care. You don't, they're like, oh, we don't care. We don't want them in Hollywood. Right. Well, we do. We do. <laughs> we want people yeah, to see we, them. And yeah, we know they don't need it. They're making plenty of money. They're getting enough notoriety. They're getting their artistic expression out the way they want it. But we want people here to understand there's stuff going on outside of Hollywood Nawaz and to be introduced Nawazuddin to Sajiki, this artistry. Priyanka Chopra, yeah. Brian Veer. Like there's so many. That so much good artistry. Bought, and it's just, so many artists that would do so well. Uh, but yeah, but here anyway. we go. Uh, I think it's from another uh, YouTuber. Uh, I think he's Indian. Cool. But let's just see. Right now, Indians are taking over Hollywood, filling lead roles and finding major success. Death Patel? Well, yeah, we didn't mention yeah, The only Indian that I remember on TV was Kapu. Today, I am truly an American citizen. And he wasn't even played by an Indian guy. Welcome to the Quickie Mart. But in recent Ooh. years, there's been an explosion of Indians in Hollywood. Those stereotypes are so outdated. There's more Indian dudes doing sitcoms than there are running 7-Eleven. <laughs> 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 It's fun. Nasty Minaj has his own show on Netflix. He's Mindy, really popular. Mindy Project. Liza Koshy's killing it. He's in Chopra Chopra is everywhere. In 2018, Kunal Nair was listed as the fifth highest paid actor on oh, TV. From Big Bang. And now Lily Singh even has her own late night show oh, yes, on Netflix. Yes. I remember when that happened. From Colin and Samir. I was going to say, how are you going to leave yourself out, man? No, no, no. This is all about <laughs> So there's no doubt that there are talented Indian. people all over the world, but Hollywood is a business, and the one thing that matters most in that business is audience. A lot of the decision making is super concentrated in Hollywood still. Certainly the consumption of Hollywood is around the world. So really it's all I'm trying to figure out when we look at the viewing behavior is, what's the size of the potential universe for this film? The third biggest immigrant Miguel population in the US outside of Mexican and Chinese immigrants is Indian. This is from an article in Time Magazine from 2019. And the article also states that Indian immigrants in America have the highest median incomes of all immigrants in the U.S. And 70% of Indian immigrants in America have a college degree. So that's 2.5 times the that national sense. average. The fact that they are pursuing higher education and come from homes with higher median incomes means that the audience is desirable for advertisers. Because they Once have they're in the States. And that results in progress. Yes. So as people of color move up economically at scale, studios and major companies have a financial incentive to serve those audiences. It's like back in the 50s when they had soap operas that literally were meant to sell soap to housewives who were at home. Comic, get thanks and done. A trainer and yeah, that's why they're called soap operas. operas. Didn't really? Really? Yeah. You didn't know that? Nor was that in the script. That's literally why they're called soap operas. I had no idea. But the audience is now also there in India. <laughs> 
India-based company Reliance launched Geo in 2015 with the goal of bringing a high-speed 4G network and affordable data to all of the Indian population. You know, this market I do. is huge. It's considered the last major growth market economically in the world. Analysts say that this is a market that's going to be worth $100 billion by 2022. That's crazy. As of May 2019, Reliance Geo has 322 million subscribers. That's basically the population of the United States that is now connected to the internet in India. The Geo 2 phone is available for 3,000 rupees, which is basically the equivalent of 40 US dollars. So it connects this massive Indian audience with content made in America. Ooh. And another reason why the Indian audience is so important is because a lot of them are English speaking. So if right, they invest in a new show with Indian talent, they can just take the content as is and play it in India to grow a fan base. You must say India to grow, Lily. You can catch a little late with Lily Singh on September 21st at 8 p.m. on Star World and Star World HD. I cannot wait. You can't say the same for China, another massive market. In China, you can't even get on YouTube. True. India is not only the biggest audience on YouTube, but also the fastest growing. When YouTube launched in fact. India, there were less than 15 million internet users in the country. And today, YouTube reaches over 265 active users each month. Netflix doesn't put all of their shows in full on YouTube, but Patriot Act episodes are available in full on YouTube. And that's probably because Netflix wants to grow a fan base in India. It's also because you can't really find anything on Netflix. It's like the lost and found bin of entertainment. Sacred it seems dance, like the man. priorities have shifted, and now some of these major networks and studios are focusing heavily on attracting this Indian Come on, Disney. And not focusing as bring much the stars in. audiences Come on, Disney. they used to try and capture. So you've always said that your Indianness is a big part of you know, your voice and, and what you put out there. Do you think as you sort of there. need to speak to people perhaps in middle America, do you have to block the edges? No, that's the least thing, right? Nah. <laughs> and another reason we're starting to see more Indians in Hollywood is because there just are more Indians in Hollywood, and these Indians aren't playing a And how about There's they no happen to be Indian really talented people? Yeah. the way for other Indians. They're not being hired because they're Indian. They're being hired because they're freaking talented. History had shown There's Johnny that I could. There's Dave. Every single late night host was a white guy. And now with Lily Singh, even though I'm not always a fan of her content, she is paving the path for the future of Indians who want to pursue a creative career. Regardless of what the outcome is, if I'm being super candid with you, it's kind of not going to matter because it's going to help continue to pave that path. And that's what my priority is. Hollywood held the keys for so many years and kept opportunities from people. But on YouTube, Lily Singh could hone her craft and cultivate an audience that did probably she start on the internet? studio she sure did. didn't did she believe on YouTube. Or was Good for her. And by the time this opportunity came, she was ready and had a huge audience. Hollywood, in the old days, it really represented studios and to some degree a couple of networks. And now it's this vast group of uh, artists. people, artists, creators, that are looking to figure out how to execute on their ideas and get to the biggest audience possible. People like Hassan and Lily and everyone else that we listed in this video have made it even easier for me to view this as a tangible career path. And for my parents to see it actually happening now in Hollywood, it seems more real and it's starting to become an acceptable decision mm. to try and pursue your creativity. That's an different. interesting viewpoint. So to you. answer the question, yeah, why are Indians yeah. taking over Hollywood? Talent aside, Indians have just become one of the largest and most valuable audiences in the world. Yeah. So thanks for watching to the end of this video. Great, thanks. It's one of the arguments we actually made uh, for why Gully Boy should, it should be the nomination. Yes. Uh, if, if, if the, okay, one, I think we said it if you watch that video, artistic merit aside, right? if they want and the uh, Oscars need views. And we just heard from the guy from Creative Artists, from the head of Netflix, we just heard what you're just, yeah. the point you're making yeah. is Gully Boy is perfectly fit for the criteria of what they want because you do have to have the balance of the artistry, yeah. which is what the purists want, but um, but trust me, what Netflix and Disney and everybody else in this industry needs to have is what they said in this. Eyeballs, mm -hmm. audience, money. And, and that's the kind of thing that will bring entry to And, and that. sadly, it's, it, even though there are a bunch, we're still not where we should be. No. Because of all the talent that is in India Correct. right now Correct. that everyone just, they have no idea. No idea that right. it's there. They have no idea about Nawaz and Siddiqui. Well, they, and that's part of the problem. I would <clears throat> like to know, like Nawaz, my suspicion, like we know Alia wants to 
be a star here. Yeah, she comes here often. She really wants to. She has made a concerted effort to break in in the way that Priyanka has. Yes. Right? That may be of no interest to Nawaz whatsoever. Yes. He, he might be against it, but as far as his attention and his time and his people, he may be like, I'm, I'm, a, I'm very happy with my career. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but and I would a, love... It's a selfish thing. It's really a selfish thing. And I would love for me, I don't understand why, like for me, it isn't just Priyanka because who preceded Priyanka and paved the way for Priyanka is taboo and ear fun mm -hmm. in terms of the consciousness of, of Americans being aware of Indian actors. And I, I don't, I just, I would, we're selfish. We want to see these brilliant artists, these directors and these actors be known yeah, we by want, the people that are here. We want to see them put the amazing artists in films here so people realize like how Aladdin should have been, I mean, I still haven't seen it, but how Aladdin should have been done with Indian yeah. actors. And a series like Sacred Games, man, that series could be, if people were, were looking and aware, that should be a talked about show here in the States. As like, wow, have you guys seen Sacred Games this week? Mm. Everybody's talking about the, the, the shows that they should here. They're talking about Stranger Things. They're talking about uh, Better Call Saul. They're talking about The Mandalorian. Yeah. But they're not talking about a show as brilliant as Sacred Games. Yeah. So the, it was actually a really good uh, video. I, Great video. I, I liked it a lot. And I particularly like it with his vantage point, him being Indian and talking about how this has, uh, yeah. by, even for his own personal, to tell his family, I do what I do. It's giving some more, li li which just... Do it anyway, but I under I trust me, I understand when he's yeah. talking about the cultural thing of it, why are you going in that it's direction. It's still ridiculously difficult for unknown actors uh, yeah. in in Hollywood, especially of uh, that are minority. Um, I mean, it's hard for everyone. It's course. hard for everybody, but it's especially hard because I mean, if you're if you're of Asian descent, if you're of Indian descent, um, I know India is in Asia. But you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but if you're if you're of that, you're still it's still at the lower level, still basically stereotypical roles you'll normally go up. Sadly, from what I they're hear. not they're not being as as diverse as Hollywood is becoming, and still not anywhere where it needs to be. Mm -hmm. And I, I can't imagine how hard that is because of how hard it is that we know our experience. I and mean, we're freaking white guys in America, yeah. And we see comments from him all the time on stuff where we're acting in it, going, "Why aren't you guys in more films?" Uh, because it's yeah. insanely hard to mm -hmm. get a break in the talent is not enough. Mm -hmm. or there's talent is not enough. <laughs> Mostly so, luck. Yeah. It's, uh, it's relationships is number one. It's who you know, and then making sure you don't use those relationships. So you're just in the right place at the right time. But also sometimes it doesn't even matter because you got somebody with the cloud of Priyanka that still can't, unless she I makes know. something. Oh, herself can't get a role in uh, some. You you hear it all the time. You hear that about projects that somebody like a Steven Spielberg or uh, you name these A-list people, Tom Cruise, uh, Tom Hanks, who took ten years for someone to say, "Yeah, we'll back that. We'll be a part of that for you." With those kinds of names, so yeah, this is a tough. But tough finally, uh, what they were saying is people are realizing that one, the audience is there. It's a yeah. huge audience yeah. that people want the eyeballs. Yep. That's, that's what drives everything in the yep. industry. Yeah. They want eyeballs on it because that's how they get money. Correct. Uh, and so we're getting there. Uh, we're getting there. And it was a great piece by, uh, yeah, I liked by, it. by this guy, uh, Colin and very informative and Samir. I don't, I, I don't know their channel, nope. but, uh, it was, it was a good piece. I yep. liked it a lot. Me too.